Good evening, everyone. The highlights of the news this Thursday. Traffic accidents. Am I awkwardly kneeling on the floor for a video? Quite possibly, yes. Are we going to talk about that? No, we're not. Hi. Lighting's bad, everything's bad, life is bad, I look bad, but it's okay. You know what? We're going to do this. Okay, before I get into anything, um, I'm going to explain what this series is called, and... Wow, that was a big bounce. It's called America Asian, like America Asian, and I thought I'd just take a little bit of a spin on your traditional title of Asian American, because I grew up hearing, because I grew up in an international environment, I grew up hearing, wow, you're not American? Like, you sound so American. Where'd you learn English? And then I'll tell them, China. And they'll be like, how does that work? And I'm like, international school. But you know. So it's kind of funny because I'm not really Asian American because I'm not American or Canadian or anything. I'm just Korean. So, you know, growing up in like a mostly Western environment, even if I'm attending school in Korea, it's just super, super, super like American, right? So that's where this channel name came from, America Asian, just a little spin. I did not think I would be starting whatever this is this early, but here we are um welcome to americasian i was just gonna you know use the series to document oh um how living in america or possibly canada i don't know my college decisions yet but i just gonna document my process there adjusting you know living abroad that kind of stuff right but you know all hell broke loose my high school just closed down because of the coronavirus situation. My music teacher actually told me he hadn't seen anything like this since, what, like SARS? This is me sitting on in my bedroom floor, not doing my assignments because I'm not good at life. So, I guess episode one of many to come, join me on my journey with online school as my school has been shut down by corona. Good morning. Currently you're sitting in my closet because this is the best view of my bedroom. My room is not really set up to be um, natural light friendly. What I'm going to do is uh, finish up the video because I deserve a little break, I feel like. And then I'm going to work on my assignment. I'll show you a bit of that. And then what I'm going to do is clean my room because I don't know if you can tell because my room is small, which means that if I don't clean it every two days, I can't find anything. So I think we're going to work on my vanity and then my desk. I'll see you guys in the next clip. Bye. two warm-up problems which you can clearly see I struggled with and then I had a final problem from a past paper it's just integration and volume and stuff and so now I'm just gonna be uploading them and then I will be done with math class for the day if I can find my mouse I have a class that I don't need to be on for, like 
a virtual call for so I'm taking a break but guess what came in the mail <laughs> where is it red vines people can come for me but I love these things so I ordered this from the states so so this is my baby now also I did not know how big this was just my head for comparison so many extra calories I'm gonna venture out into corona we're only allowed in the school building after 3 30 i guess today and today's the only day that we get to go so i gotta go pick up some things and then we will be on a merry way i match my uke by the way I have environmental sciences right now. We're just supposed to research about energy security, so we've been doing this lesson for a while. So we choose a country and then we're researching their levels of energy and what the sources are, and then we're supposed to research further into the types of energy that can be produced. So we did that last class. And then we have a website called Flipgrid, which is like a virtual like video sharing um, collaborative space, I think. And then we just upload our video around five minutes. And then that just shows that we've done our work for today. And then that's it, really. <laughs> theater mood board this is I just realized that the sheet music at the corner is upside down and I have never been more infuriated before <sighs> okay well we're just gonna ignore this um this is just my mood board um it's just a bunch of Pinterest photos that I put together for um a director's notebook so I took the IB so this is one of our um big projects for senior year and we're basically just supposed to design and direct a play of our choice without actually putting it on a stage we're just kind of mind mapping through it you know so this is just my first stage of developing like what i imagined when i first read the script i have like key elements like a thrust stage um letters that appear quite frequently in the script Music is also a really big component of my play because I'm doing an adaptation of Orpheus and Eurydice. Um, some set inspirations. This is S. Devlin's um, set for Lord's, one of Lord's Coachella performances, I believe. And I took a lot of inspiration from that. And water is also a really heavy motif in this. So um, there's just a creepy face there for you. And, you know, make it look pretty. Um, this is just how my thought process works, I guess. I mean, it looked... This is how I imagined the play. I don't know how anyone else might think, but yeah. So there you go. I'm just straight chilling right now. Okay, so that was a couple days of what I'm doing with online school. 
and I want to explain like the format of how I decided to film it to you. I only documented four days because we got the Monday off because the school cancellation email went out on Sunday so teachers might not have had lessons planned, we weren't expecting it so we actually got into the heavy duty stuff on Tuesday. Essentially day one was filmed so that I could show you like a holistic view of what my day looked like. It's a lot of just sitting at my desk listening to lectures, doing the assigned work on my laptop. Day two was a little bit more active. It's just I wanted to highlight, I guess, the more active part of my day. So day two was perfect because we actually got to go to school and pick up our textbooks or anything we left behind. I thought it was just a good opportunity to show you uh, what I would do if I didn't have class or I finished my stuff early. And I guess it was like a good picture of like, oh, not everything is just solitary confinement. and yes you can go out yes there is a risk but yes you can go out and it's honestly not that big of a deal if you meet your friends you just have to take the precautions wash your hands obviously don't sneeze or cough on anybody it's more the people who are getting sick or who are sick that need to be wearing masks and taking care of themselves because you don't want to spread that right and then day three was really short but i wanted to show you like the full process of me working through an assignment or a class period and then with day four um, it's just another clip of a really intensive project that I'm going through for theater right so through day four I also wanted to show you like the different types of work that I do for the IB so yes there's a lot of screen time activity but because I have theater I have a lot of hands-on stuff too and I'm still working at it like there's pros and cons definitely but I just hoped that the different formats of how I showed you my days, so like day one with the whole layout, day two with a little bit more activity, day threes and fours with more like class intensive stuff, I chose to structure it that way, hoping that it would show you different aspects of how I've been dealing with online school. All public schools are shut down by the government until March 23rd, so um, the school emailed us yesterday or two days before saying, um, how they're gonna proceed with that and a lot of teachers have been saying it's very likely that we won't be back on March 9th like we planned and originally it was supposed to be two days of virtual learning and then back on the Thursday of that same week but it is pretty bad I guess corona yeah so yeah to whoever's watching this I hope you enjoyed seeing how my first experience with online school is I'm sure it's different for everybody right now. All those schools have been closed down. Currently, we're closed down to even possibly March 23rd. And so maybe there's a future episode talking about how it's actually affected my life. But this, but I guess this vlog or video, I wanted to just show my first experiences with online school and how I've been managing my time. Uh, hopefully school doesn't get cancelled till March 23rd. Bye. <laughs> Psych! School's cancelled till March 20th. Um, we are not back into school until spring break. Fun stuff. That's it. Bye!